Hello YouTubers. This is a video about the new proxy board that works with OpenPilot and the Honda Clarity uh, plug-in hybrid vehicle. So the proxy board is a small board that you fit inside your dash that plugs in between your the car's gateway and the NIDEC camera on your windshield, the stock camera and the stock um, gateway. And what it does, it allows you to have the revert back to stock capability that uh, is automatically engaged uh, in the car harnesses relay box in the comma AI's uh, comma two system. Um, so what I'm showing here is unplugging the comma two, which normally would cause the dash to go crazy, uh, progressively crazy. <laughs> and uh, uh, if you um, have a Honda Clarity, you guys will probably be laughing and know what when we, everyone says that we get Christmas tree lights when, when this uh, happens. But now you can do that, and you can also plug it back in with your car on, with the AC on, um, which uh, is very convenient. Um, if it's a hot day and your car is sweltering hot, uh, you can turn the AC on and then turn on your comma too. And while it's booting up, you can actually drive the car in stock mode or uh, chill out and wait for the comma 2 to boot up to, to engage the open pilot. So that's really convenient. Additionally, uh, safety features uh, such as overheating or CAN bus errors that it detects uh, comma 2 would normally revert to stock. Uh, in most, I assume all supported cars that comma supports. But since the Honda Clarity um, has uh, a non an extra CAN bus in, in the uh, car uh, camera harness that kind of uh, made it impossible to support uh, uh, all the features in the uh, standard car harness architecture that the Kama AI has, which is why the car is not supported by uh, Kama AI. And Hence, this proxy board was created. Um, actually, the board was created by Vanilla Gorilla, who um, did this as a side project, and it's not related to Kama AI. Uh, it's not supported by Kama AI. And, and uh, Vanilla Gorilla uh, made a comment that in chat that uh, there's no plans to um, get this upstreamed, uh, the Honda Clarity upstreamed into the uh, Kama AI branch. However, he is uh, more than willing to try to help uh, any community members that want to try to get involved to um, do some additional work to get um, proper upstream support in the for the Honda Clarity. Um, if you're interested in uh, running OpenPilot on a Honda Clarity, you should join uh, Kama AI's uh, Discord server and there's a bunch of information there on um, they have a wiki as well on github which uh, has a lot of information but additionally because uh, again it's not a supported uh, car you um, should also uh, ask in chat uh, to join the um, uh, honda clarity private board which has uh, clarity specific information but it's actually a pretty good car uh, with this proxy board, it kind of fixes one of the known issues that uh, you know you have to basically, uh, if you want to switch back to stock, you got to unplug uh, the cables and plug it back in. It wasn't super hard, but you know, again, it, it's not the most ideal situation, especially in hot climate. Um, so I think this is a good thing. And um, the, as far as the Honda Clarity is concerned, uh, if you're willing and Full disclaimer: This uh, Open Pilot is a dev kit. You know, you you know, if you're gonna do these types of modifications, you need to um, understand what the system does and understand the risks. Uh, this is, you know, common AI's. You always have to be ready to take over. You know, it's it's a, a driver assist, not self-driving. Uh, but their goal was to eventually get to self-driving at Com AI. But uh, also the uh, proxy board, again, is not supported by Com AI. So just keep that in mind. It's one developer who uh, developed this for the Com AI community. Uh, sorry, the Honda Clarity community. And uh, so 
um, you know, and then also uh, uh, showing demonstrating the torque mod on zero uh, wireless nets 0.8.5 branch, but that is also assumed taking a lot of risk. Uh, so uh, again, uh, you need to uh, find out about your car, um, the um, hardware requirements and software requirements before you, you, know, you buy anything. It's not something you just uh, install uh, willy nilly. You should um, definitely do a little bit of research and uh, find out what you need and, and, and also ask questions to, uh, before you do it. But uh, anyways, uh, that's all I have. So uh, thanks for watching.